In this video, I'm going to show you the map window in the Gridpoint Atlas software. So we'll run the software. There are actually two windows in the Gridpoint Atlas software, and we will look at the map window. By default, the map window comes up first when you run the software, but you can change that if you wish. The map window has several toolbars available. This is where you create a new map and save it or print it. There's a theme selection or, or a uh, management toolbar. There's a navigation toolbar. There's an overlay toolbar. And then there's a uh, drawing toolbar and then a Google Earth toolbar. So how you use this software is you come over here and you first have to create a map. And you do that by selecting themes. There are five map libraries that come with the Gridpoint Atlas software. These libraries have been somewhat superseded. I think uh, the data is from maybe 2002. But most people who buy this software will either be using the calculation side of the software, the calculation window, or they'll be using the map window in conjunction with Google Earth. So what we want to do is first create a map. And let's just say we'll pick a map in the United States Library. So we want to create a base map layer first. We'll add states to the map and then we'll update so it'll draw it. And the map libraries uh, are not copied to the hard drive. I'm running off of a DVD-ROM, so it's a little slower. So let's zoom in on Washington State. This is the area that I live in. This is interesting, but we need some more information on the map. So we come back up here to theme selection, and we're going to choose cities. We're going to add that, and we're going to add major roads, and now we'll update the map. So here we have the cities and the major roads plotted. Now, if we didn't like the order of these layers, we could go up here to the layer order dialog and we could rearrange them. So for example, let's put cities on top of roads. So we'll move the city layer and we'll say close. So what this does is that when you draw a map, it's arranged in layers. We have the states layer, we have the major roads layer, and we have the cities layer. And the order in which they're displayed is designated by how you have the layers ordered in the layer order dialog box. So we have cities over major roads, and we can see that none of the major roads are in the cities. That's because the cities are covering up parts of the major roads layer. So let's select on major roads. We're going to move that layer up. And now we see the major roads on top of the cities, which makes more sense. So we'll close that. Now we can do various things. We can measure a distance. We click the measure distance function. We can click the beginning point and the ending point, and this shows us the distance in degrees, in minutes, or nautical miles, and in seconds. Now, the next thing I want to do, we can, we can show the entire map um, in the navigation toolbar. We could zoom in um, using a bounding box. We could select the area we want to zoom into. I'll do that. Pretty straightforward if you've used a map program before. We can zoom in by a fixed amount, or we can zoom out by a fixed amount. 
We can pan. We can grab a hold of the map and move it. We can also use the arrow keys. Uh, this is center map at the cursor. This is center map at a coordinate. Let's go to the overlay toolbar. We want to overlay the world grid on this map. Now you can center the map at a coordinate. This is if you're taking the overlay and you're going to view it in Google Earth. We're just not going to specify a value. So what it'll do is the, use the center of this area that I've specified. This is the center of the view we have on the screen. We're going to plot a seven and a half nautical mile map. That means the major grid lines are going to be seven and a half nautical miles apart. The color of the grid lines is ultraviolet blue and the line weight is three. That's not very many grid lines and points, so we're going to zoom out. And then I'm going to come back up here to overlay management. I'm going to delete the overlay I just did. Now I'll come back up here and, and do it again. Everything's the same. We're not specifying a coordinate. Want seven and a half nautical miles, ultraviolet blue, and a three for line weight. So we'll do it. Here we go. Now I'll zoom in on an area that I want to see. And then we can go up here. We can edit certain features. We can select. We can add labels. We can annotate the towns. We can annotate a layer. Let's annotate the cities layer. We'll say add to the layers to annotate. And let's say annotate and see how big it draws the labels. A little bit big. Let's go back to the function and we're going to change the size to be size 10 instead of 12. Do it again. That's a little better. We aren't going to view this overlay in Google Earth. That's in another video that I've created. So I'll save this map out. I'll call this South Puget Sound. This is South Puget Sound Area. So the file name is South Puget Sound, the map title is South Puget Sound Area, and the description is South Puget Sound Area, Washington State. So we save it. Of course we can come back and load it again. And that's a quick tour of the map window in GridPoint Atlas.